All right, Peter, so we're here at Metz Trade in an area that celebrates everything electric, hybrid, uh, and going to, to green, greener solutions. Yeah. Uh, you started years ago around this kind of topic. How have you seen the industry change over, over mm. your time in the industry? Well, actually, I started much, much longer ago. Um, I started off life as a boat builder in 1965, uh, building wooden boats. And by the time I finished my apprenticeship in 1970, we had a fiberglass hall and we were building fiberglass boats. So I was kind of part of that transition. Yeah. And, and later in life, realized that fiberglass boats were becoming an indestructible problem in our industry. And that's what brought me into this in 2014, because I'd been to another seminar where I realized a huge problem with uh, fiberglass boats and there was no end of life solutions for them. And, and you can tell in the industry there's been this acceleration towards finding these solutions. It's a bit of a race yeah. uh, against uh, regulation as well as yeah. save, saving the planet. Yeah. Uh, so have you seen a, a lot of that in the, in the last few years, bringing us up to where we are now? Yeah, certainly. Uh, I've seen a lot of acceleration. I think when we started out here in 2015, the first conference we had on end-of-life boats, there was lots of problems and no solutions. Everybody went away a little bit depressed, saying, well, okay, we've got these boats everywhere, we don't know what to do with them. Um, nobody really understood the importance of life cycle assessment, circular economy, these were still relatively new concepts back in 2015. And I see what's happened since then, they've now become part of everyday discussion. You know, every company you speak to has a sustainability manager somewhere in the organisation, and everybody talks about life cycle assessment and circular economy doesn't mean it's happening but it means people are thinking about it and talking about it and moving in that direction and I see that's been a big change in the last couple of years. And in the next few years, so looking forward, uh, where do you see all these uh, technologies and our demographic that we serve? Uh, how do you think that's going to change? I think what we'll see is, that, uh, as mentioned here earlier, the pathway to net zero with regards to propulsion and energy will split across various methods. And I think the whole industry is beginning to, beginning to realise that there's not just one pathway to net zero. And for instance, boat owners that have, uh, I'm one example, my boat is uh, probably going to last me the rest of my life. It has a nice, well-maintained diesel engine. I'm not going to rush out and put an electric one in, but I'm quite keen to look at drop-in solutions so I can actually still cruise in comfort and say, well, I'm doing less harm to the environment. And I think there's millions of people like me around the world that are looking for an alternative way uh, to, to be more sustainable, to do less harm to the planet, but not necessarily to go and buy an electric boat. You know, so there's a, there's a whole load of pathways which our industry will adopt as we go forward over the next few years.